Mukesh Ambani and Gautam Adani, two of India's biggest businessmen, are about to invest roughly $70 billion each by the end of this decade to make green hydrogen affordable, including renewable energy plants, large-scale photovoltaic cell manufacturing, electrolyzers, storage and transport facilities, and other components of the hydrogen ecosystem. The government has now declared that it will invest around 20,000 crore to support green hydrogen in India. This is because green hydrogen is a powerful weapon in the fight against climate change. It has the potential to reduce India's oil imports and increase energy security. A US government website claims that 1 kg of hydrogen has the same amount of energy in it as 2.8 kg of gasoline. However, to manage the volume, hydrogen will need to be compressed at high pressure. Burning hydrogen results in the production of heat and water when combined with oxygen. Hydrogen can drive a turbine in place of natural gas. A catalyst in the fuel cell can strip hydrogen atoms of their electrons, causing the electrons to be pushed out as an electric current that can power a motor. As a result, electric automobiles would cost extra for batteries. In addition, hydrogen is essential for substituting coal in the decarbonization of steel and cement production. Other industries that hydrogen promises to free from the control of carbon include shipping and aviation. The carbon footprint left by the production process determines how hydrogen is coloured. Green hydrogen is the product of the steam methane reformation process. The hydrogen produced is known as blue hydrogen if the carbon produced during the synthesis of grey hydrogen is captured for storage or utilisation. When water is electrolyzed, hydrogen is created and the power utilised in this process is fully renewable. Petroleum refineries frequently employ grey hydrogen to purge the sulphur from fuel. Whatever colour designation is applied, hydrogen will burn as pleasantly and without carbon. But green hydrogen can boost wind and solar electricity. Power generation stops when sunlight isn't available or the wind stops blowing. The proposed solutions to this problem include pumped storage, which involves pumping water up to a height from which it may be pushed down to operate a turbine after power output has ceased. Hydrogen is a valued export good because it allows for the spatial and temporal flexibility of the use of renewable energy. India has a chance to compete internationally in this green technology and fuel. The policymakers must facilitate investment to use this technology for India.